Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So today I was planning on outfitting a lot of mechs, but as you can see I've advanced the timeline. What I did is I actually outfitted him prior to doing the episode because what I want to do is I want to get into some fighting now. Um, if we have a look at the star map, I want to take advantage of the situation the Jade Falcon's in right now. Um, so as you can see here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 planets right now. And I want to try and expand that. We are right here right now. Uh, we do have a mission we can take here to help um, Jade Falcon out a little bit. And then there's another tougher mission right after that, which I'm not sure if I want to take. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we have a three skull and a five skull. So um, let's just have a look at the mech base. So I'll show you kind of what I did with the mechs. Thank you all for your comments. I really appreciate uh, um, those comments it made me think a lot about how we were going to lay these mechs out. I'm not 100% happy with them. Things could change. Um, but I'll let you know why I kind of laid them out the way I did. So we had the Timberwolf. Uh, we have a Bushwhacker, which was the uh, Gorilla, the Night Gear. Um, I also removed the White and the Cougar that we had here. Or sorry, the, not the Cougar, the Adder. Um, just because we don't need them right now and they were just adding more to the sea bills. We got 1.1 million a month now we need to to pay out so we wanted to make sure that we were okay with that. All right so let's talk about things here. So let's have a look at the night gear. Everyone had kind of gave me suggestions for this. It was really tricky to lay this out. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I thought about using the uh, EA, like the uh, enhanced LRMs um, the inner sphere versions, then I tried laying it out with just LRM20s, clan versions and stuff. So let's just have a quick look here. Um, of course we got the falcon uh, um, uh, feathers across the chest here, so it looks awesome. So what I did was I ended up going with an arrow system in the one arm. And the arrow system is backed up by uh, 10 rounds of regular arrow and uh, 5 rounds of inferno. Now these Inferno rounds are really good. It is minus 100 damage, sure, but um, the heat sinking efficiency is reduced by 40 for six turns. So if I hit somebody with this, they're pretty much, if it's a laser build, they're pretty much, you know, down to half their weapons or less. Um, then I put two LRM-15s and an LRM-20 in. So we're running an LRM-50 right here and plenty of tons of regular LRM ammo. Um, because I couldn't use the um, Artemis system in the head because this has got a built-in Artemis system and it doesn't allow me to use it, which is one of the reasons why I hummed and hawed about putting this in. Um, so I don't have, you know, the extra uh, ability to hit with these guys. We do have the plus three indirect uh, fire fire control in system in here. So if we are behind stuff and we're firing off, um, we have a really good chance, well, not a really good chance, but a much better chance of hitting. I also included the rangefinder for plus 100 sight, just so we can see the enemies. If you want to direct fire them, it's better to see them. We have a better chance to hit that way, so that'll help out a bit. Uh, I did have to put an e-cooling system plus 2 in here, just to be able to manage being able to use all the slots. Now, the armor is not full armor. I couldn't go full armor, unfortunately. Um, it is Everything here is backed up by a couple of ER medium lasers. We have a regular Guardian ECM in here. And I put the void system on this guy, because as long as we're moving, like less than five hexes a turn, and this guy's not very fast. Um, movement is 5.8, so we don't need to go full speed, but we can just walk slowly. Um, this should keep us pretty much hidden from enemy sensors, with minus 65% reduced visibility, minus 50% reduced sight on enemy sensors. It is plus 15% heat generated from weapons fire, but we are running relatively cool here. Um, we've got the heat bank in there as well, exchanger. So, I mean, we can just cycle off some LRMs or not fire their arrow, whatever. Uh, so we can manage our heat fairly well with this guy. So that's how I loaded this guy out. Then we're going to look at the Timberwolf. Timberwolf's really a standard build. Um, I really love the look of the Timberwolf, and I just wanted to kind of like do a standard build on it. I'll probably end up changing this later. Uh, but as you can see, we got the LRMs and the lasers. So let's have a look at it here. I kind of like the camouflage pattern on it. It's not really camo, but, you know, it is what it is. So we went with an ER large laser in each arm, an ER medium laser in each arm, and an LRM-15 in each torso. Simple as that. TTS plus weapons, fire control system advanced for some a really good called, improved called shot modifier of 30%. So really, really good uh, called shots plus 10% to all range brackets so we can shoot at a distance. And we're running relatively cool on this guy as well. We do have a heat bank, so that helps out. 
cycling off a couple of ER mediums, you know, now and again we can do that, no problem. Got the Nova CEWS as our um, ECM, should keep us hidden really well and help with help with the uh, Lance as well. Minus 50% signature on enemy, uh, enemy sensors, which is great. Plus two increase, plus two increase resolve gain, which is awesome as well. And we have the range centers, which gives us an extra 10% to all range brackets. So we've got really good long range firepower with this guy. I thought about going with a, a uh, NSS on this guy, but I decided against it. I would rather have this guy's. This guy's got full armor. I'd rather have the enemies targeting him than the knight here. So that's what we did this, with this guy. Then the gorilla, I really wasn't sure about. Um, Actually, let's have a look at the, the Stormcrow Prime. I did redo the Stormcrow Prime because I wanted to use some of the components we had in this guy uh, in some of the other mechs. Ended up, some of them ended up going in the Bushwhacker, some of them ended up going into the uh, Timberwolf. So the Stormcrow Prime is basically a replacement for the Adder in the white. Uh, and that's how I built it, basically. Uh, it's going to get dropped down at the second lance. So this guy is going to be the Heavy Strike mech. Um, and it's basically just loaded up with pulse lasers. It's really heat efficient. So we have one ER medium pulse and five regular pulse lasers. Watchdog suite for protection, uh, exchanger, fire control system energy, DNI cockpit. Um, I put this in just because it gives plus three initiative and plus two maximum evasion pips. So the only reason why it's there. Uh, this mech is relatively fast. Um, what are we at? 7-11, so it's pretty quick. Um, so it can get in fast, hit hard, and get away if it needs to. The plus one energy. Um, this gives us plus 10% increased range as well, so that's good because uh, we have short range weapons here. Um, so this guy should be pretty well laid out. Uh, well, like I said, it's the replacement for the adder in the, in the white, kind of a combination of both. Um, so lots of pulse lasers. Oh yeah, we needed the e-cooling plus 3 in the center torso just to be able to keep it cool. The heat sinking right now is 108, 111, so it's actually one of the cooler mechs um, as far as heat goes. So that's kind of how that one got laid out. And once we go back, now we've got the gorilla. Now, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this guy. This guy is basically going to end up being a hunter killer mech. And I want to use it basically how it was designed for. Um, because we have this chameleon LPS system in here, which is like even better than the void system, right? As long as you only move four hexes, um, you're, pretty, you're pretty much going to be invisible. Like, how many times has this thing snuck up on us? A ridiculous number of times right so that's what this guy is going to be it's going to be a predator mech once we once it gets in relatively good distance uh, it's just going to prey on the enemy so we've got the r14 sheath beacon as its stealth um, which is pretty good gives us plus one initiative i put our fire control system improved in it because i wanted to have that um, call shot modifier i couldn't get the the uh, better improved one in because it was actually two slots uh, I also included the rangefinder because once again I want to be able to see the enemy and it gives me plus one initiative so that really helps out. Uh, we are running a prototype double heatsink kit. Now I have pretty much all of my prototype double heatsinks in here. I only have six of them so they're all all in here plus a heatsink cooling pod and an exchanger. Um, we've got the TTS weapons which are going to give us better chances to hit uh, plus increasing our range brackets with the two ER PPCs and three ER medium lasers. Plus, we've got a weapon mount on here to negate the recoil on the PPCs, plus to give us better chance to hit. Uh, and the capacitor, of course, to give us more damage. So these things should be shooting at 80 damage a piece. Uh, and if we get acid on somebody uh, somewhere along the way, um, these things will be shooting at, what, 96 damage each? No. Yeah, 96 damage each. So that's pretty good. Actually, this replaces the, um, the heavy improved... Um, laser that we had in the old uh, Stormcrow Prime. So now we basically have a couple of those. A little less damage, um, 80 damage for about the same heat roughly. It's about 66 heat. Um, is it 66? No, 77 heat. A little more heat um, for a little less damage. But the weight is, is I think it's about the same, uh, but the range is greater. There's no damage fall off. Um, so yeah, that's that's how we got these guys laid out. Um, and yeah, so the cooling is actually not bad. Um, 6885, so we can cycle off these. And this guy's basically the pinpoint accuracy guy taking legs off, heads off, whatever we want to do with them. So that's this guy. Um, of course, the XL clan engine we got in here. 
So this cost us a fair chunk of C-bills uh, to get all this stuff kind of worked out. I haven't quite yet determined what our lances are going to be. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to take, we have enough, just enough um, C-bills left over. I had to sell a ton of stuff because we're, we're in a wolf system right now, so we can't actually sell or buy anything. Let's just change the pattern on this mech here. There we go, a little better. Um, so, yeah, we have to be very, very careful. So let's have a look at our contracts. There's really only two that we can take here. I'm, I don't feel 100% confident enough to take this one right away. Uh, so I'm going to take Intelligence agent, agent first, and I'm going to go in hard with my Big Lance um, just to see how it, it plays out, what kind of damage we can deal. And if I feel comfortable enough, well, then we'll take the Five Skull and see how it goes. So let's negotiate this. I'm going to go full salvage and accept. It's, I mean, our drop cost is going to be a fair bit, so we are the clans after all. So Griff, Mockingbird, El Duce, and Blockade. Now, um, I haven't 100% decided what I want to do with each mech yet. I think Blockade, maybe we put him in the Gorilla. He's been pretty accurate overall, so I'm thinking that probably that's the best bet for him. Uh, I want to put the Timberwolf with Griff. Uh, Mockingbird, I want to have a heavy punch mech, but I wasn't really sure which one to go with here. Uh, we could go with the Stormco Prime, just to see how the, all those pulse lasers work out. Now, we're on a desert planet too, so it's going to be kind of hot. Um, Stormcrow D, she's been running for a while now, um, with the heavy medium lasers and the medium pulses. So, let's just go with this, this Stormcrow Prime, just to see how it works out. And we'll give El Duce the night gear. Um, I know he's been using the Ultra 20, but um, let's just give him that one for now, just to see how it works out. He was piloting a missile mech earlier on, so yeah, we'll just see how that goes. So these are our four new mechs. Well, Stormcrow is really not a new mech, but it is a new layout. So let's just try this and see how it goes. All right. Pick up the agent and whatever other stuff they got and get the hell out of here. Ready for action. Yep, me too. Waiting for orders. Um gotcha. You are our scout now. Good to go. This gorilla does not move all that fast. On the move. Move. Fast enough. Can't wait to see how this night gear performs. I wish I had uh, better ammo for it, but we got what we got, so. Okay, what do we got? Vehicles Zora, a Pike, Epona. Shadowhawk. Um, you know what? For a desert planet, this is actually really good. I mean, heat-wise. I mean, pulse laser, yeah, at a distance. It's a little harder to hit, but... That's actually phenomenal. Let's take this one. I'm gonna fire. Okay, not bad. Yes, Commander. So blockade moving one, two, three, four. Should make him invisible. Relatively invisible. And those chances to hit are super juicy. I'm gonna leave these three off and just fire the ERPPCs for now. Nicely done. Ready for orders. And you got the void system on, so you don't need to move very fast either. So what do we got chances to hit? 72 with the... That's not bad. The arrow. And 60, 43. So let's go after this guy. I'm going to fire. Locked on. 158 damage with the arrow. 
So that's a trash. And let's move around this way. Um, so Griff's going to move straight up. I think we can get straight shot on this guy. So we're going to take that. And we'll fire straight out. And here it goes. Wow. That's a lot of laser misses. Okay. Um, I know there's going to be somebody else up here. Yep, what do we got here? Smash. Shamish. So we're going to fire on this guy. Yeah, man. Pulse laser vomit. I should call it the Rave Crow Prime. Alright, so we're going to move up over here. Yeah, maybe we... We got a direct line of sight on that guy? I don't think so. Just move into here. Hopefully we can pick up some more mechs. No, don't see anything. So let's hammer this guy 25%. So this is a hot mech, and I knew it would be. But that's fine. We don't need to quibble here. We're going to move fast. Well, as fast as this guy will go, that is. Which isn't very far. Shadowhawk finally got the message that somebody's over here. Receiving you. All right. Yeah. Uh, nope. Yep. All right. Yeah. We got lots of ammo. Let's use it. So I can't wait for. Um, AOE damage to fall into, like to come into effect. That arrow would have probably AOE damaged that guy a little bit. Secondary asset has been secured. Absolutely. You scratched my shiny new mech. That just makes me angry. You don't like me when I'm angry. Move a couple squares. Don't need to move very much here. And laser vomit. Yep, yeah, hitting for 80. So those are pretty good. Um, let's just walk it over. This guy's gonna get shredded this turn anyway. So I'm not. I'm trying not to use um, Warlord right now. I really want to see how. Um, we're going to perform without it right now. Just want to make sure that if we do use Warlord, we can get about four turns of firing before we get it back. What was that? Uh, before we get it back and then do something else. Uh, so let's move here. And target this guy. And fire it all. Oh, he's not having a good day. So what do we got over here? Shadow Cat, Vapor Eagle. Okay. We got a vehicle. Something else over here. I think we fought a Vapor Eagle before. Okay, vehicle. Where did you go? I want to finish him off before I move forward. Come on. So those enhanced LRMs, they're kind of nice, but the launchers are like 12 tons apiece. They're really freaking heavy. So I tried to put him in this guy, but then it's like, that's it. Like, it would be two of those... I'm just going to finish this guy up. It would be two of those, and then... Uh, actually, let's leave these on. Let's take the LRM-15s off. Uh, two of those, and then a couple of LRM-15s. So you're looking at basically an LRM-70. 40 of them doing up to six points of damage, and then the rest doing four. So, I mean... I only had basic ammo, but with... Or basic Artemis ammo. 
but you need with an LRM 70, like you're looking at least six, seven tons of ammo or more, right? So even, uh, yeah, at least seven tons of ammo. You want at least 13 or 14 turns if that's all you're packing is those. So it's kind of tricky. Kind of, definitely kind of a tricky layout, especially for a 70 tonner. You know, a 90 or a 100 tonner is a little easier to do that with, Commander? but... Um, how come you can shoot at us but we can't see you? How come we can't target you? Oh, a Timberwolf. Okay, we're going to try and take parts from him. Waiting for orders. You can see him. Roger. Yeah. That one's gone. That one is gone. All right, Griff, we need to work on this Timberwolf in a minute. But let's get up on this side. Uh, 23. Doesn't matter which one. It's far in the Shadow Cat. Eh. So we've got 12. We've got 12 turns of LRMs in the Timberwolf, which is nice. I didn't want to be running around like I was in the other, the Mad Cat 3, where it was like, like we're missing the shoulder mounts. There's just something wrong with it when you don't see the, the uh, missile launchers on the shoulders. Anyway, that's just my two cents. What do you need? That's the Vapor Eagle. We got a better chance on this guy, maybe? Do we? Yeah, it's the same. It's far on this guy. All right. So definitely want to try and take the legs off the timber wolf. I'd like to have another one of those. They're not bad speed. If we put a mask in it, we'd be able to upgrade the Stormcrow Prime to the Timberwolf. At least that's what I was—that's what I'm thinking anyway. Ooh. What's up, buddy? Stick your nose out. Get it shot off. Yeah, firing. Let's go after him. Why not? Oof. See if we can take this leg. Nope. Go after the same leg, and we'll fire it all. Okay, there's the leg and the knockdown. Finish him up next turn. I want to see what the Night Gear's direct fire looks like on one of these mechs. That's it, Bubba. Yep. That I am not worried about. But this guy should be worried about this. So yeah, we really heat up when we fire everything in the desert with this mech, but that's fine. Yeah, he didn't like that very much.
I wonder if you could put a pair of Ultra 20s on a Mad Cat. Or a Timberwolf, that is. One in each arm. Could you imagine? Put a mask on it, speed up, get behind somebody. <laughs> it's game over. Well, these guys are smart. They got desert camo. Hmm. Standing by. I think we should be fast enough for this. Let's take this leg off. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Almost took the leg. Yeah, so I think that Stormcrow Prime is probably better off in the second lance. I mean, it was designed to replace the uh, to replace the uh, adder and the white, so I think it will go down to the second lance. I think I want to get that ultra back up in here, the ultra twenty. I know we've got the arrow, but it just doesn't have the same punch, and we and we need something in close range. Yeah. And while this mech is really nice, right here, it's awfully slow. Look at this. Goodbye. Okay. I'd still love to know how much they can see us and how much they can't. Alright, firing on this guy. These guys are having a bad day. All right, let's get down. Let's get over here. Nice. And we're gonna go up to the leg. Doesn't have much left. What's the chance? 85, eh? I think we need to go... Just these two. Yeah. Okay. Commander. See if we can get on his side here. Yep. Just gonna fire straight out. We're just gonna burrow right through him. And firing. firing all wow, look at that. Reporting critical hit. Not a lot of damage. I mean a lot of damage, but not a lot of like well, I don't know, it took his torso, almost took his leg. Didn't pen through, though. Let's just finish this guy up. CT. Fire it all. There it is. Yeah, Mockingbird should be able to grab the last thing here. Excellent. Good to go. All right, let's go home. Heat. I don't know. I feel pretty good about doing that uh, escort mission. I mean, we'd be fighting four guys at once, and we had to focus fire, but I think we could do it. So we made thirty-six thousand on this. That should be more than enough for repairs, I think. We barely took any damage. XP is crap, but no, no big deal. Nice even dis distribution of kills. Alright, so let's grab at least two Timberwolf parts. Got some ER PPCs. Uh, I want to see if they got any cores, because I'm going to need C bills. Definitely want to take one of these. Enhanced imaging is nice. Still got one though. Um, don't think there's no pro any prototype double heat sinks or anything down here. Double heat sink kit. Clan mask. We don't have any of these right now. Oh yes, we do. We got one. 
I want another one though. Yeah, 1.8 million. It's worth a fair bit. <sighs> we got still got two clan double heat sink kits. I want the extra mask. Mm, Ultra twos. E cooling plus five is nice. Uh, no, I think we take the Timberwolf part, extra Timberwolf part. Let's go with this. Okay, we got another Timberwolf part. Excellent. ERPPC. Micro pulses. We got lots of those now. And oh, this is good. We can sell this. Yeah, two point two five million. Not bad. Ferro fibers. We got lots of these still. All right, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, ooh, I should have checked to see if we got that planet. I don't think we did. Jade Falcon got something though. I know there's a lot of people working towards uh, helping the Falcon out. I really appreciate that. Uh, I know they're not doing it for me, but it's just easier for the series if Jade Falcon actually controls a fair number of worlds, or at least a few anyway. Um, so let's have a look at uh, star map. No, we didn't get this world, but it looks like we took this one. Looks like it. Somebody grabbed this world here. Nicely done, guys. So who's on tonight? Eighth Vow Galaxy, so that's uh, Boyd of Zinge. Uh, what's up, buddy? Um, uh, what else do we got here? Salamanders. I wish we could do, like, in-game messaging. Yeah, I don't notice anybody else here. But good work, guys. Bluebirds Bastards is on, eh? Oh, Jade Falcon's going down. So these guys are probably wolf. Not much we can do about that. Uh, we could try and take that big... We probably should. It's got a great payout. Good salvage, great payout. It's five skull though. Um, we can always bail on it. Done, Four days for our pilots. Okay, so if it does go south fast, we're going to bail. I got no qualms about doing that. Alright. Let's try this guy. Full salvage, 729. Why did it say 5? It says 625, 729 here. Oh well, we'll take 729. I don't mind. Maybe that's as high as it goes. Up there. Don't mind taking the 729. Either that or it could be because we're in we're allied with them probably. That's probably what it is. Alright, now the question is, do we want to take the Storm Crow? Or do we want to go with the Nova E with the Ultra 20? It's a good question. I think here's what I'm going to try. Let's put the gorilla in the hands of Mockingbird. Let's move the night gear back to blockade. And there's a reason for it, I'll tell you in a second. And bring in the Nova. So the Nova's got the Ultra 20, right? Paramedium pulses. The Ultra 20 is nice. It's that heavy back striking mech for sure. The Gorilla is slow and accurate. I think Mockingbird will do just fine with that one. Um, these are both hit and run mechs. Uh, I wonder if we should switch this way. As much as I want to run the Timberwolf. Here's the thing. Um, with Tactician, um, you remove, remove one bar, bar of stability damage, you get 50% critical hits taken. Since we're barely moving, both the Night Gear and the Gorilla, it's less, when we get hit, less chance to take crits. And a Timberwolf and Nova, which since they're a little faster, will benefit more from having the Ace Pilot, I think. So let's run this way, see how it goes. Let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. So we know this map really well. Blocking Lance. 
spread out across here. Well, this is a hell hole. Once we once we liberate the base, we've got a mech here, uh, one here, one here, one here. I think there's four. And then once we get over here to the drop point, there's two guys over here, one over here, and one back here. We gotta wor worry about these two guys here first because they got direct line of sight on the uh, vehicles and stuff. So, all right, let's get up here. Want to play this cautious, being five skulls? We have absolutely no idea what we're up against. So let's maximize our ECMs here. Just want to sit in these trees. We're going to brace. Yes, Commander. And then we're going to reserve. So a good chance they ain't going to see us. Okay, we got our first blips here. Hellfire. Timberwolf. So I think the Hellfire is 65 tons, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we've got a couple more. Thunderbolt, not so bad. And Ryokin, which I think is a melee mech, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, who do we want to pull down first? Well, that guy's not going to move. I don't want to pull out of the trees, though. But it'll get us in better range for LRMs. Um... I think we hold off with this guy first. Um, yeah. By. Don't want to move too far. Let's get into... Ah, I'm just worried about this here. Let's get into this range. Rolling. Whether or not they're going to see us, is I have no idea. Uh, this is definitely the case where we want to do Warlord first and Hammer. While well, we got the chance, let's take the good damage. Okay. Griff the Stiff, let's get in here. We want to stick together. So once again, I'm going to Warlord this. And we're going to Hammer this guy. And Fire... With any luck, we'll pull this guy down before he gets a chance to do anything at all. Let's get the Nova up. It's got to be a little closer than, than not. Let's confirm this. Got to start worrying about our uh, Ultra 20 ammo. How much do you got left in the center torso? Not much. Going to go this route. I know I should have gone the other way, but uh, we got to worry about ammo. So let's get into here. And we're going to go with everything but the arrow. Although, I don't know, do we need it? Like, it's got like 27 in there, right? We're in totally cool here. Let's just fire this. There we go. Who's going first? Come on, guys, bring it. Timberwolf. I don't think he can see us. I really don't. That's the end of their turn. Let's not give this Ryokin the ability to do too much. Just going to move slowly. Uh, if we offensive push this guy, still pretty good chances to hit. Should try for a headshot. No, I think we try and core this guy. I don't want to mess around. No idea what's going on with him. Orders. Spook order received. 
Ultra 20's up, firing. Damn, we missed. Can't afford to waste ammo. Don't really know what I'm hitting here. Well, if I do this though. CT, looks like he's been hit there. sure about this but we do have the void system so it's not so bad um, gonna leave the arrow off I think we'll leave off 30 LRMs too just fire the rest Got it. almost wasn't even worth shooting him They do, but, you know, that's Clan Wolf for you. Good enough. 28, eh? 34. Let's leave the Ultra off and fire the pulses on this guy. Yeah, they finally got eyes on. Forty-seven, huh? Oh, I wonder. Goes down to twenty-five. Yeah, I don't think so. Thirty-four. Let's just fire straight out on this guy. Yeah, I was hoping we would hit the CT, but it doesn't like look like it. Dude, you're gonna take a face full of pie in a second. You know you think you're tough. What do you need? That's the funny thing, is this guy thinks he's tough. On it. I think we should just show him what tough is. Forty-seven, seventy-seven. Look at this. Let's wreck this guy. Roger that. See, because you shot me, that's what your friend gets. Waiting for orders. Oof, just barely, eh? Gonna fire straight out. Receiving you. Ooh, what's up, punk? What's up, punk? That looked like a head hit to me. It did. It totally was a head hit. Yeah, I think we just straight out attack him. Really pushing the edge there. Wow, they both missed. That's ridiculous. Ow. 
passing by. Rolling. I think we go this route. Oh yeah, so in my uh Hang on a second here. Yeah, I'm gonna go this route. See if we can take his head off, but we probably won't, but you never know. In my um Night Witches series, um I keep forgetting that certain uh components in the head when your mech is overheating, your pilot will take damage. And I was complaining that my crab, my pilot was taking damage and I'm like, why is it taking damage? There's, I'm not getting hit in the head. And it was because they were overheating. So thank you, uh, uh, Fist of Dorn for pointing that out. I keep forgetting that. I did remember it for quite a while. And after a while, I just kind of forget because I haven't changed my mechs in a while. I just kind of forgot what they had, right? So. Let's punish this guy. Uh, leaving the arrow off. And fire the rest. Badass. Um... Can't get behind the Mad Cat, eh? Most certainly can get behind this guy. But we will incur the Mad Cat's wrath. So we're going to move over here. And we will do this. And this. And this. Okay, Mad Cat. What's he doing now? Well, Timberwolf. I keep calling him Mad Cat. Come on, buddy. Bring it in. Show us what you got. So this is like the first... This is also like... Oh, he's running. Chicken! This is the first of three battles, most likely. That's a typical wolf pilot, you know, he's faced with uh, the might of Jade Falcon, just running away. Uh, I want to save this for the Timberwolf, so we're going to fire this. This guy's almost gone. Wow. Commander? I'm there. Once again, want to save it for the Timberwolf. Just going to fire through this guy's side. To save my ammo. Well, you know what? Blockade's a pretty good sharpshooter. Ah, not today though. Oh wait, head hit. He got it. He did get a head hit. No, he didn't. Huh. All right, let's save our ammo, get our stability back, and finish this guy up. Enemy down. Yep. Timberwolf coming back. Coming back to find his buddy dead. Good to go. Uh, let's reserve. 
Let's see if we can get some eyes on. How many turns of LRM we got left? Ten. Might as well get started on him. How far can Griff get in? Right in to see him. Okay, perfect. We are super hot. Once again, another PPC miss. That's like the worst. Fifty damage with the Inferno will superheat this guy, though. If we hit, no. Nope. Receiving you. Oop. What is up, buddy? Damn, we're down down to seven turns. Let's not mess with this guy. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's a lot of pot shot damage. God, I almost feel like this is the entire battle. Yes, Commander. Okay, um, we got not a lot left. Um, let's go back to regular arrow. Let's leave these two off. Actually, let's leave, take these two on and this one off. Yeah. Yeah, firing this. Let's not miss this time, guy. Okay. Do this, 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 and this. Standing by. And let's do this because we can. Gonna save my ammo. Remember, we still got two more lances to go. I have no idea whether they're gonna be tough or not. At five skull, they could be just like this. I don't know why I'm hoping to leg this guy. That's better. 
All right, let's get moving. This is going to be a long battle. Full speed, no target. Aye, aye. I copy. Yes, Commander. I think El Duce is the fastest, so he should probably set off Commander. the vehicles. Let's get up here. Yeah, that gorilla runs really hot. Don't know if there's anything else. We, if there's anything we can do about that. Shorty, getting more clan exchangers. On my way. Double time. Okay, one more turn here. Receiving you. Standing by. Got you. Actually, right here is fine. Full throttle. Yeah. Waiting for orders. I'm there. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. So these guys are going to have some spawn immunity. That guy won't now. At least it's vehicles. Well, these two are anyway. I don't know what this is yet. Shadowhawk. Oh, guys. At least they're fast. That means they can get into the drop point and get out of here. We can take off. Orders. So you got to sprint your ass up here now. Stormwolf. 45, not bad. So it looks like the heavy opposition is front loaded. Yeah, pretty good stuff on that guy. Wow. It's like almost like he's forgotten how to use PPCs. Yeah. Quick stepping it. Nine hundred armor, huh? Yeah, no. Yep. Try and get an early kill on this guy. And firing. Confirmed. Almost. Scored a critical hit. Nice shooting, buddy. That is us. El Duce's got to get up. He's only got six turns of AC 20 ammo left. It's a little concerning. We gotta make a count. Yep, 
You almost want to go with full energy builds for this. I know it's hot in the desert, but at least you don't have to worry about ammo at all. So the jury's still out on the builds of these guys. Don't know. I think the um, the night gear is not too bad. In a straight up fight, ammo wise, you just fire all you want. The um, gorilla, on the other hand, I don't know. There's no way to get more accuracy in this guy, unfortunately. He's got that R14 sheath uh, sheath beacon in the head. She eats up two spaces that we can't remove, so a bit of a problem. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? As long as you don't shoot us. Fifty four, that's not bad. Nope. Well, it's either one or the other. Take the fifty four, I guess. Try on ooh, that's really good. Nice. Two rounds not wasted. Who's next here? Shadowhawk? No, we're on 23. Probably this guy. Come into my trap. Not sure why is there taking so long all of a sudden. Let's go guys, come on. Here he comes. Storm Wolfie, let's do it. Show us what you got. So took a little leg hit. Ah, we only hit with one looks like, in the leg. Torso damage. Oh, nice jump. Kind of suiciding yourself to the Nova, but whatever. Uh, what do you need? Roger. Let's figure out here in a second who we're going to target. So this guy is almost dead. And. You, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need a multi-target here. I'm gonna shoot on this guy and this guy. This is going to be VB. Um, B. And fire. Multiple in him. Locked on. I was hoping for more turret hits than that. Ah, we missed the arrow. The arrow really is that all or nothing. You really gotta have a good chance to hit with it. I know it's got a built-in Artemis and it's in the arm. I don't know what else to do to it. Can't remember if we've got a TTS in here or not. I don't think so. If we can get one clan TTS, that would be nice. Although we can't use it with the indirect fire TTS in the head. Which would be okay because it would be plus two all weapons, but it's three tons. That's the problem. I don't know. I don't have three tons to take out, really. I mean, I guess I could lower the LRM 20 to a. Well, have to go down to a 10. That's two and a half tons. We could take out a ton of ammo. Still, we're nerfing the damage. Well, we're not really nerfing the damage. We have a better chance to hit. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I mean, like I said, the other way to do it is just run four LRM-20s. I, I tried to get two ELRMs. 
um, and a pair of 20s in, but I could run two of those and two 15s, I guess, because those missiles are six damage each. Then we could run the Artemis system and Artemis ammo, so it's plus two to hit with that. I don't know. Maybe save the big punchy weapon to the AC-20s. I wonder if we could get a... Well, we could get a pair of AC-20s on the uh, Timberwolf, maybe. And just run with AC-20s. Yeah, I know. My armor's always freaking low. When isn't it low? Light damage. Holding firm. So I'm not sure to do what to do with this turn with the Timberwolf. Could try and backstab the Shadowhawk depending on where he goes, I guess. Or try and take his leg, maybe. Okay, let's see what he does here. Okay, Griff, we need to do a multi-target. Want to target the vehicles, or do I want to see if we can include a mech in here? Let's go against the Shadowhawk too. Let's go this route. Firing. Engaging multiple targets. I got a TTS in here too, guys. I don't even know why the hell we're missing so badly. Commander? Let's do this. This, this, take these off and fire. Firing. Okay, that'll help. But that hurt. I gotta split. I gotta stop splitting fire now. This vehicle should have been dead. Okay, we got two more vehicles to move. They still got the Joes to go yet. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's shooting on the gorilla, that's fine. Oh, and it's also the coup, I think, has to go too on 14. This turkey over here. The cuckoo. We better be careful because these guys are gonna be out next turn. So we should all get over to that hex. Because our out point is right over here. Or it's actually past there. Come on, buddy. Move it. Two guys left. They could... Nah, maybe I think we got two turns of fighting left. So Cuckoo's coming over here. We need to get over there fast. Let's not mess around with this guy anymore. I'm gonna do this. Okay, nice, he's dead. Okay, see where they're going here. So it's the Storm Wolf next, I guess. I think we should probably be able to kill this guy. The Joust, I don't know, he's got 900 armor. We might, if we can get him with the arrow system, probably. I don't want to waste the Ultra 20 ammo on him. Hopefully this guy's going to go after the vehicles. At least if he goes after the vehicles, then we can get around behind him. I was shocked that the, the uh, 
actual speed he's got. 23. Oh, no. He just doesn't like me. Yep. Stop complaining, Blockade. We all get wounded now and again. I was out for like, what, 82 days or 72 days once, so... Take the shot in the head like a good mech warrior. Alright, where's this guy going? Wonder if he's gonna jump. Yep. Not enough to get him killed with the, uh... That's a pretty good chance to hit this guy. Leave one of the ER mediums off. Dump everything else into him. Okay, we hit with the arrow. He's gone. Two down. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Standing by. Yeesh. Yep. Can we get both of these on? We can. And yeah, firing. It's only good if we hit. Now, I wonder if the Nova can get behind him. Don't go out. Don't go out. Damn it. See if we can finish this guy up. Solid connection on that. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Hopefully all four of these guys make it in there. There's two guys over here. Three out. Night gear and a vehicle, okay. Come on, get out. You dumb ass. He stopped there on purpose. Somebody else down here too. Oh, we got eyes on. Oro heavy tank, and there's someone back here too. We cannot target those guys. can, however, target this guy. Jesus. The heat. We want Timberwolf parts anyway, so we just really want to keep these guys from doing anything over here. So our Timberwolf and the Nova are going to make a sprint for it. No point in staying around and fighting once our vehicles are gone. Is that the night gear? Somebody moved over there. It was the night gear. What do you need? Um, got lots of vigilance. Let's use it. Or lots of resolve, that is. Where'd that Shadowhawk go? Ah, 
I was not paying attention. Understood. Moving fast. There you are. Four turns left. Let's go for the CT. Panic level critical. No kidding, A lying on the ground getting pummeled by two AC uh, AC twenty rounds. This guy's almost dead. Kit Fox, okay, not so worried about that. Unless he's got a Gauss rifle. Nope. But he does have a heavy laser. As much as I want to shoot the night gear, I think we need to target this guy more than anything. Locked on target. At least we tag him. Commander. We do not have speed. We are in a really bad position here. Ten four. Wow. Whole lot of nothing. All right, they're down to five. Our vehicle should get out this turn. Who do we got going next, though? That guy's on 16. This guy's moved. Oh, it's a tank destroyer. That's an interesting play. Shoot him. Thanks for the help. The Shadowhawk's got to go. Good thing he's only got one leg left. CT is pretty badly damaged. One good salvo, we could probably take him down. He's facing our night gear, so maybe we rotate around and finish him up. Okay, this guy down here still got to go yet. Oro heavy tank, 60 tons. Good job. Okay. Nice. So, fighting withdrawal. Waiting for orders. All right, full speed. Let's see if we can murder this tank. Okay, that frees up this space. God, as much as I want to do this, that guy's going to shoot me from behind. <sighs> Good 
Got to do it this way. All right, let's do it. Ooh, almost got the leg. Almost got it. We are surrounded. It's either gonna be the Nike or the Kid Fox. Here he comes. Well, at least he's a lousy shot. Nike here, I guess, next. Whoa. Got my clan double heat sink kit. She's stuck out here by herself. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Gotta get our back to the wall. It's the only thing we can do. Copy that. So we can get some help over here. Ten four. Okay, nicely done. Enemy eliminated. Receiving you. Ugh. Just lousy chances to hit. Well, this is a five skull and we're running it with what? Two heavies and two mediums? See if we can get this guy to shoot at me. Okay, that helps. Hopefully we can capitalize on this. Okay, he's doing what I was hoping he would do. Good to go. Roger. Okay, 
Okay, let's get on this guy. Let's hope for a hit. Well, he took some damage anyway. Inflicted some heavy damage. Eleven from fifty hits of, by the AMS. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, that's bad too. That could have been really bad. Don't think we can get it in one shot. God, really? Acknowledged. Two shots left. See if we can finish this guy up. Yep. Well worth it. Black on AC twenty ammo. Oof. Well, that's about it for our ammo. Well, at least it was mostly in the front. Okay, he's almost gone. He's still got to go, though. Oh, man. It's been a brutal fight, that's for sure. Good thing blockades minus 50% critical hits. Took my arm. Damn it. Standing by. Took my freaking arm. Confirmed. Oof, almost got him. Target's taken a critical hit. Let's run the risk. Of course.
Let's see if we can get an inferno shot on this guy. Attacking from position. Okay, lost initiative. I've been sensor locked. God, really? If we're gonna heat, we might as well heat. Sorry, taking damage in the head. Firing. Really hoping we can get another headshot in there, but obviously not. Last round, normal ammo, firing. Wow, 86. Long range missile. Far out. Oh. Got a fight going on. Try and trash him. Okay, build out, nice. Let's finish this off and go home. We did pretty well overall, if you really think about it. Oh. Well, our payment was increased by 50%, which is awesome because we're going to need this to repair. Uh, so we didn't, okay, let's start back here. So the night gear did really, really well. And we lost some patchwork materials, but I think we've got, no, we don't have any in store. Okay. I'm sure we can pull it from one of the other mechs, though. And we got, took some damage. We lost the weapon mount, two PPCs. Oh, God, prototype double heat sinks, weapon, uh, whole side went. 
So this is a complete rebuild. Yeah, complete rebuild. All right, let's have a look what we got here. Hellfire Part, Ryokin, Shadowhawk, one Timberwolf Part. Well, it's better than not getting any at all. All right, let's have a look what we got here. ER Larger, we got lots of these still, right? Uh, ER PPC, it's not a clan version, so there's no point. We got lots of clan Goss rifles, HA30. Um, ER Large Pulse. That's an interesting take. Let's just throw that in there for now. We might use it, we might not, I don't know. LB20X, we got two of these. LR15 double plus, no. Um, got three of those. Ultra 10. I mean, the other way we could do it is do a double Ultra 10 build. That's a possibility. I don't think we got any clan case left. We've got one left, okay. The cooling plus two is kind of a nice thing. Clan Endo, we should still have a couple left, yeah. Okay, a couple of XL engines. Let's grab those for coin. Exchangers are always good. I don't think we have any of these right now, do we? No, we're always out. Artemis, we got this already improved. We got a couple of these, I think. Oh, this is just the improved version. Heat bank. Heat dissipating, what's this? Holy shit, let's take that. Weight goes up, that's fine. Minus 15% heat, weapon heat generated and overheat. Yes, please. Heat bank, that's a possible. We still got a, one of these left, don't we? Now we use them all. Uh, I know we lost the double heat sink kit. Do we have any of these left? We have two, so that's fine. Uh, could take this. It is really nice. The minus 50% reduced signature. Plus two increased resolve gain. Um, we got plenty of Artemis ammo. So I think we take the Nova. Still got one. I want to get these into more mechs though. They're one and a half tons too, right? So the advantage you get for, have, for having one and a half ton is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think we go that route. Overall, not really that happy with the salvage. Yeah. I think I'm just more disappointed with what I lost. That weapon mount was like the last one we had. Anyway. Okay, Nightgear part, nice. One, two, three, four Ryokin parts. Shadowhawk 2C part. Uh, Stormwolf part, okay, not bad. Got a few of those. Uh, some lasers. LRM 15 streaks case, which we can just get rid of because we don't need. Uh, Guardian ECM, we got lots of regular heat sinks. Wow. Yeah, so we got a junky roll. All right. That mech you wanted is back oh, online. okay. Well, Shadowhawk 2C. Yeah, 551,000. Let's see what we got left over. Let's see if we can make our uh, financial report. Yeah, okay. We barely made it. Let's have a look at the uh, Shadowhawk 2C here. I may just want to trash it. Doesn't look like it's got much. It's 45 tons. I mean, I guess it is possibility for the third Lance. But there really isn't anything on here we want to keep. Um... It's got three, well, the hard points aren't that bad at all. 
Uh, how much is it to repair? 405,000, eh? What's it worth to scrap, though? I almost, I almost want to keep it. A million sea bills. I think it's worth scrapping at this point. That will allow us to do builds and stuff on our other guys. So let's have a look at the uh, star map here. See if we actually did anything here. No, not really. Not much we can really do about it, but we got to move off this planet anyway. So I'll probably do that between episodes. Um, I'm going to leave it there because that was a pretty long episode. Um, good five skull fight though. Uh, we did take a little bit of damage. Um, but, you know, we'll have to get to it. Let's get the gorilla up. Working first. The Nike gear, Nova. Let's get the Timberwolf up earlier. So it's really going to be like 20 days before we get stuff back. So we are going to jump out of here. Uh, that'll give us about half a month to do stuff. El Duce, I'll be back at that point. And uh, we can figure out where we're going to go from there. Uh, if you liked the episode, you know, drop a like. Um, if you got any comments on the loadouts, please feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. I know it's not exactly what a lot of people have posted, uh, but it is kind of similar. We do have a few MRM launchers. Um, but I have been selling them kind of conti continuously here because I would rather stick to the clan stuff. Um, although I will be build I am planning on doing an MRM build on uh, catapults in um, Night Witches. So if you're watching that series um, around the same, like right now, we've got two catapults. I want to outload one, uh, load out one with uh, MRM builds. I got an MRM 40, two MRM 30s, and two MRM, MRM 20s. So I want to get a big MRM build on a catapult. Um, but I'm not, I don't, I can't find ammo. So <laughs> I got a, I got half a ton of ammo and that's it for MRMs. So anyway, uh, so we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.